starting to fade as Julian Madrid takes the race lead. Look, he was 1.9 seconds back and he's gone through. But do not think that that is the end of the battle because Huey Walker will throw everything at this. Look, straight away, he's round the outside coming through St Mary's. He looks to the inside line over the rise into Lavent. He can't do it there but I would put money on the fact that he's going to challenge through Woodcut. But take a look that Huey Walker has when he looks forward. There's one thing you don't want to get too close to. That's the tail end, the pointed tail mm. end of that sunbeam in front of him. Just a sort of reminder, stay away <laughs> like the tail end of a wasp, I guess, in so many ways. Exactly right. And it's been stung once, hasn't it, the uh, direct? So he's trying to find a way, sorry, the uh, Theophile. He's trying to find a way back ahead down towards Woodcut. But this is where break late and the bravery will shine. Huey Walker looks over his shoulder to see where the opposition is. Julian Madu pulls away in a straight line, but it's through Woodcut where Huey Walker will be able to break much, much later. Uh, he throws the car in, catches it on the throttle and should come out a little bit closer. Yes, he does. He's closer. He's quicker. He's arguably braver. Ah, very, very sideways indeed. And look, Julian Madu suddenly has to fend off Walker because they arrive at the chicane. Absolutely nose to tail, ready to start the last lap. Well, it's smooth against Gung Ho. I'm putting the money on Gung Ho at the moment, and that's Huey Walker. <laughs> He's going to the outside. He is not scared to carry speed through corners. Julian Majoub holding the inside line, looks across. The, where is that madman? Oh, he's on my outside. Is he going to go for the outside at Madrick? I think probably not, but it's a combination of corners, and if he gets a good exit, Huey Walker will chase him down to Fordwater, and we know when they get to St Mary's that, oh, a big, big twitch. That'll have cost him a lot of momentum, but Huey Walker is winning arms and elbows of the day award at the moment, and an amazing catch, and uh, I think certainly Julian Majoub is thinking, which side are you going to attack me next? Because the attack is coming. Well, out of all of that, then, it was Huey Walker that did the fastest lap of the race last time around, and then Mark Walker went even quicker last time around. Now, look, Julian Madu has got the advantage here, but is he going to be able to hang on in there for the remainder of the lap, then? Because we know that Huey Walker is more gung-ho. Look, he's closing, 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 heading up towards St Mary's now as they go into the left-hander. Uh, Walker again looks at the outside line. They're not quite wheel-to-wheel -wheel because Julian Majoub's Sunbeam Indianapolis has just got the run coming out of the corner, but Walker lines up for Lavent and he's done it. Great move. Could he get the braking done? That was super brave. You know what? Julian Majoub saw that and there's no point blocking. They've got another race tomorrow, but the way that Huey Walker gets the power down through the first part of Lavent...